Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another fabulous Titan Thespians production. Please turn off all cell phones completely so that they do not interfere with the frequencies of our sound system. Keep in mind that flash photography is prohibited by federal law and it is distracting and dangerous to our actors on stage. Please refrain from exiting the auditorium during the performance unless it is due to an extreme emergency. A 15 minute intermission will take place after act one, at which time you may enjoy refreshments in the lobby or visit the restrooms which are located at either end of the lobby. We do ask that any refreshments you purchase remain in the lobby as no food or drink are permitted in the auditorium. Thank you for your patronage and enjoy the show. of 
Swept to glory, Egypt's mastery expands From the Nile's northern delta To the dry, dry southern sands The more we find, the more we see The more we come to learn The more that we explore The more we shall return It's all worked out, my road is clear The lines of latitude extend Way beyond my wildest dreams Towards some great triumphant end We seize the day, we turn the tides We touch the stars, we mark the graves We move into uncharted lands Fortune favors the brave The more we find the more we see, the more we come to learn. The more that we explore, the more we shall return. Nothing is an accident. We are free to have it all. We are what we want to be. It's in ourselves to rise or fall. This is easy to believe. When distant places call to me, it's out of from the palace yard. Fortune favors the free. Fortune favors the young. Fortune favors the brave. Well, what have we here? We found them on the riverbank, Captain. <laughs> Your country's at war with Egypt and you go wandering along the Nile's edge. You must have a burning desire to see Egypt. Put this one in chains. Have you finished the maps? Yes, Captain. Good work. But this is all wrong. From the mass, it looked like it curved to the north. That's My sword! Release them. Hand it over. Now! You took us from Nubia, and now you say we belong to you. Yes? Yes. Well, I took the soldier from your ranks, so by your own logic, he belongs to me. Now let them go. Throw her in the river! No! I have a better plan for her. No! no. Don't 
don't. You don't want me to remove your shackles? Oh. Yes. They'll only get in the way. Very impressive out there. I should enlist you in my army, make you my lieutenant. Are you mocking me, Captain? No. Admiring you. Do you know what's going to happen now? You're going to scrub the filth of battle from my skin. It's been a long time since I felt clean. You're much better with a sword than you are with a sponge. I wish I had a sword now. There's mine. Help yourself. Who taught you how to use a weapon? My father. Because he knows Nubian men can't protect their women? You're not finished. Yes, I am. On your knees! You enjoy living dangerously, now don't you? About as much as I enjoy washing your filthy Egyptian skin. <laughs> you! No, you know nothing about me. And care even less. How could you understand our emptiness? You've plundered our wisdom, our knowledge, our wealth. In bleeding us dry, you long for our spirit. But that you will never possess. The past is now another land far beyond my reach. Invaded by insidious foreign bodies, foreign speech, where the timeless joys of childhood lie broken on the beach. What is your name? Aida. Captain, we're ready to dock. What? No, please, leave them off. You're a slave now. If you want to survive, you better remember it. The present is an empty space between the good and bad. A moment leading nowhere to pointless to be sad. But time enough to lay to waste every certainty I had The future is a barren world from which I can't return Both heartless and material It's it spoils not my concern Shining like an evil sun As my childhood to is burned Shining like an evil sun As my childhood Mare, Mare, is that the wine? 
You have the gold? Meriv! Master! I'm so glad you've returned. Have you kept my house in order? Yes, yes. Well, except for a few casks of wine which have mysteriously disappeared. Again. Here you are, my son, home at last. Step aside, Merib. Oh yes, Chief Minister Zozer, beloved by the gods, the people, and himself. Careful boy, or I'll It's good to see you, father. You've been gone for so long, I've been beginning to worry. You weren't injured in battle? No. I kept telling the princess that no man could best you with a sword. No man can get the better of me in battle. Though, a certain woman might have. Really? Listen, beyond the fifth cataract, the Nile heads straight into Khartoum. Then we can attack the city by water? Excellent. And you've recorded the landscapes? With the maps we made, an illiterate foot soldier could find his way through Nubia. And you've brought home captives? Good. Send them to the copper mines. We can't seem to keep them alive down there. Uh, no! Um, not this one. I'm going to need a gift for the princess. Yes, she'll be expecting something. Take them to the palace groundskeeper. They can help with the harvest. They're all women. They wouldn't last a day underground. As you wish. They're your slaves. Thank you. Give me your hands. Aida. Your name is Aida? Mara. I'm going to remove these now. But know that if you dare try to escape, I'll come after you myself. You flatter me, Captain. You don't look like a man who would chase after any woman. I'll make an exception for you. Merib, take Aida to the Princess Amneris with my compliments. Yes, Captain. Radames, you've been gone for six months. I really think a personal appearance is in order. In good time, Father, though you and the Princess should both know that as soon as my crew is rested, I'm setting off again. Radames, you can't! Egypt needs you now. Pharaoh wasn't the strong leader he was when you left. While you've been cavorting, matters here have moved to base. Now I need you home supporting all the plans I put in place. First of all, this means your wedding. You'll recall your future bride for the way the Pharaoh's heading. Time's no longer on our side. Half oh, God Horus, our most regal invalid, is not that much longer for us. Build another pyramid. Wait, you're telling me the Pharaoh's ill? I'm afraid so. I must go to him. Yes, that'll bring him some comfort. There are many who be as our leader fades away But our architects are cheerful And each dog must have its day If our country is to flourish Then my son must take the lead Be our inspiration nourish All our hopes, our dreams, our creed Soon our monarchs will have filled a tomb Just like his fathers did Summon Egypt's greatest builders Re another pyramid There will be a time for mourning, but for now put plans on hold. For I give the nation warning that before the corpse is cold, we'll extend fair Egypt's power, Egypt's glory, strength, and style. We shall have our finest hour far beyond the mighty Nile. He must have a vault that's grand by any standards for the lead. Put 5,000 slaves on standby, build another pyramid.
So I'm telling Pharaoh about the secret meetings. Traitor! He has become a liability! He must have a vote that's gray and my and stand its floor to lead. Put five thousand slaves on standby, build another pyramid. You've extracted more arsenic. Good. Who knew the copy mines would yield such an abundant supply? Put some in the Pharaoh's drink tonight at the banquet, but not too much. We don't want him dying. Just yet. <laughs> well, now you look like a handmaiden, but at least the captain saw that you're special. What that man sees and understands could be etched on a grain of sand. That may be, but Rodimus did save you and the other women from the copper mines. That was surprising. And decent of him. When I was ten, Rodimus saved me from getting beaten to death by the palace guards. He promised he'd look out for me from then on. And he's kept that promise. Look, I know what you're thinking, that I've become one of them. But I'm still Nubian. I'll always be Nubian. Of course. I grew up in your hometown, at least began to grow. I hadn't got to my first shave before the body blow. Egyptians in the courtyard, my family in chains. You witnessed our abduction, which possibly explains how I know you, how I know you. Before that fateful morning, my family enjoyed a privileged existence for my father was employed as advisor to the king no less which surely rings a bell for as you are his daughter you probably can tell how i know you Yes, I know you. I know too much, and what you say is better left unknown. And now I'm just a slave like you. Our lives are not our own. I never had abandoned, and nor I think could you. That spark of hope for freedom No terror can subdue My only hope is silence You've never seen my face No, you remain a princess In any time or place You don't know me Yes, I know you
princess. Merib, he must treat me like any other slave. If the Egyptians found out I was the daughter of the Nubian king, they would kill you. But trust me, our people will keep your secrets. No. Safe. He must not tell anyone who I am. From now on, I'm nothing but a gift. From an Egyptian captain to his princess. Just so you know, Amneris is more than that to Rodimus. She's his betrothed. He's to be married. When? The day his ship sinks and the royal builders refuse to make him another. Come, let's get you to the princess. hard work maintaining perfection, but worth the effort, don't you think? Oh yes, definitely worth it. You're perfect. Really? Perfect? Then maybe one of you can explain to me why Rodimus, the man destined to be my one and only, is neglecting me? He's been to see my father. I hear he's been to see his father. In fact, he's probably chummed it up with every wither old man in Egypt. But clearly, the idea of seeing a ripe, young princess with fabulous hair leaves him cold. Princess Amneris, first in beauty, wisdom, and accessories. Captain Rodimus has not forgotten you, and he knows you'll be at the feast tonight in all of your extravagant finery, and he can hardly wait. But for now, he sends you this gift. Another handmaiden. I don't need another handmaiden. Does this gift have a name? Aida, did you just speak? My name is Aida, princess, and I think you might How wish... dare you? You do not lower your eyes. You do not tremble. Are you not afraid of me? Would it please you if I were? Not so much. Then I am doing as you please. That is true. You're beginning to say something about... Captain Radames. What do you know of the captain? Only that he is well. He suffered no injuries in battle. I thought you might wish to know that. I did. I did so. You're very astute, aren't you, Aida? <laughs> Only on occasion. My true talent lies with a needle. And if you would allow me, princess, I can make you a robe in a shade closer to that of your eyes. There's a dyeing process we use that makes fabrics glow. It's a secret that was passed down by the handmaidens, Queen Nefertiti. A slave who knows her fabrics? I'm keeping her! Oh, Rodimus, he knows me. He really, really knows me. Go, Mara, show I eat at the sewing room. All right, ladies, let's polish this gem. In life, one has to face a huge assortment of nauseating fads and good advice. There's health and fitness, diet and deportment, and other pointless forms of sacrifice. Conversation, wit, I am a doubter. Manners, charm, they're no way to impress. So forget the inner me, observe the outer. I am what I wear and how I dress. Oh, now I believe in looking like my time on earth is cooking, whether polka dotted stripe 
or even checked with some glamour guaranteeing every fiber of my being is displayed to quite remarkable effect from your cradle by a tree cell to your deathbed you're on view so never compromise except no substitute i would rather wear a barrel than conservative a pebble for a dress has always been my strongest suit Stitching time, stitching time. Whether wig or hat or turban, whether clad boudoir or urban, not to strut your stuff outrageously is a crime. And the few who are invited to my wardrobe are the lag as they wander through my things. Anywhere, anywhere, I am what I wear. 
Marib, was the princess pleased with my gift? Yes, Aida managed to make herself indispensable in record time. I'm not surprised. Did she tell you anything about herself? Because I've never met a woman like her and I can't help but wonder if... No, nothing. She said nothing. You look lovely tonight. Thank you. Is this the latest fashion? It is now. So, your expedition went well? Yes, we got far past Aswan into territory where no Egyptian has ever set foot. Really? That sounds very scenic. Maybe next time I'll join you. Uh, if you like, princess, we can sleep with sand mites, live off of dried monkey meat, and this time the water was so tainted we vomited for days. Then again, I'm pretty busy. Princess, the word of your arrival has spread through the Nubian camps. Your people cannot wait to see you. Welcome, welcome. Merib. Okay, so I told a few people. Princess, your people need to know. Captain, to a successful expedition. Thanks to the routes you have discovered, our troops will, be able, will now be able to attack Nubia with Overwhelming force. The, the gods willing this war shall soon end with Egypt. Complete and final victory. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. Amnera, shall I continue? Whatever you think is best, Bob. Yes, yes. Am, uh, Ranames, <laughs> you, you came to me this morning on a request to set out on, on another journey. Yeah, but I have a more important mission for you. Now, although it means you can never leave Egyptian soil again, I believe this will be a joyous assignment. One, I would only give to a man I have long regarded as a member of my own family. It's been a privilege to serve you, Your Majesty. <laughs> yes, the, as you all know, the Captain Ranames and, oh, and my daughter have been betrothed for nine years now. Long enough, I say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, well, I would like to see them uh, uh, and our nation happily settled before I leave this world. Therefore, in seven days, Radames, son of Zoser, shall wed Princess Amneris, the son of Isis has spoken! <laughs> 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 A toast to the bridegroom. If I knew such a awkward girl would turn into such a stunning young woman, I would have offered her for myself. It's not too late. I thought you loved him, Naris. Of course I do. We grew up together, it's just... Then what is it? Vodemaze, I spent years working for this day, and I'm not going to let you ruin it for my... for yourself or me. Welcome to your new life, son. Nothing is an accident. We are free to have it all. We are what we want to be. It's in ourselves to rise or fall. This is easy to believe when distant places call to me. It's harder from the palace yard Fortune favors the free No, stay Yes, Captain uh, Where are you from? Akaida It's a village near, near the, the second, second cataract. cataract The river's an entirely different color there No it's an entirely different color here. Fair enough. 
My father and I used to spend days sailing the Nile. He would let me choose the course. Sometimes I'd run us aground on purpose whenever I wanted to see something on shore. Did you ever sail north? No. My father thought that the first cataract, being so close to the border of Egypt, was too dangerous a place to take me. But there are no Egyptians at the first cataract. Only these tiny grass islands. And the sunlight there. In Egypt, it's direct and harsh, but there, there it <laughs> shimmers. It's the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Of course. It's Nubia. I would like to see that part of my country. To sail away, to have discovered places. To see the secrets so few eyes have seen. To see the moments of enchantment on our faces. The moments when we smile and those between. Are you talking about Nubia now? In a way. If I could leave this place, then I'd go sailing To corners of my land where there would be Sweet southern winds of liberty prevailing A beauty so majestic and so free Take me sailing. South. You could be my guide. Would you let me steer? Would you run us aground? Oh, yes. Wherever there are no people, I jump off the boat, kick off my sandals, and run. And there'd be no one there to tell me to behave like a princess. To behave. Be no ties of time and space to bind me. And no horizon I could not pursue. I'd leave this world's misfortunes far behind me. I'd put my faith and trust in something new. But, but why, why should I tell you this? A woman who I hardly know at all and should forget A journey we can only dream of Enchantment passing through And how is it I say these things So easily to you This is meaningless I'm never taking you sailing. I'm never going to leave Egypt again. Instead, I'll sit on a throne and send other men off on their expeditions. You talk as though you've been enslaved. Not with chains, maybe, but with a marriage promise. And what's that for? To dry my weeping eyes, forced to marry a princess. Oh, what hardships. I know. You want to go to lands where people have been living for centuries and say that you discovered them. But instead, you're being thrust onto the Pharaoh's throne. It is a great tragedy. You go too far. No, you go too far. If you don't like your fate, change it. You are your own master. There are no shackles on you. So don't expect any pity or understanding from this humble palace slave. No, you stop, I command you. And why did I tell her this? A stranger I've just met. A woman who I hardly know it all and will forget. A journey we can only dream of. Enchantment passing through. And how is it I say these things? that she already
Here. Let me. How is your father? I don't understand it. This illness of his came on so suddenly. Weeks ago he was healthy. And the court physicians, they have no idea what it is. Well, it was a magnificent feast, wasn't it? Yes, princess. Oh, there's so much to do to get ready for the wedding ceremony. From the bronze entry statue of me to the centerpieces of roses and lilies arranged to look like me. It must be difficult. Planning a wedding? No. Being a princess. Oh, you've no idea. The responsibilities are overwhelming. Your people must expect so much. They want a goddess, and I'm just human. I may leave a great impression as I race through a succession of the latest crazes chase the newest fad. I feel better when beguiling find that fashion keeps me smiling But in my heart I know it's rather sad That a life of great potential Is dismissed and consequential And only ever seen as being cute So I'll flutter to deceive no. No, you must believe that one day you're bound to find a stronger suit. <laughs> Rodimaze, this is my bedchamber. You can't just... You know you shouldn't. Aida, leave. No, stay. Pour the princess a cup of wine. Are you trying to get me drunk, Rodimaze? You know it's not necessary. Is that your bed in there? Still covered in fat with feathers. Why don't you go in and I'll join you in a moment. Rodimaze, are you sure? We're to be married in a week. Amneris, we've been engaged for nine years. Good point. Do you think that you can speak to me like that? Scald me like a shrew and then walk away? You forget that I can still have you carried off to the copper mines. And you forget that I'm her property now. Well, it doesn't matter. Because I know now that you're right. What? I'm shocked. Even in enlightened Nubia, one never hears a man admit he's wrong. Rodimaze, I'm ready! I'll be right in, princess. Aida, I was wrong. I've been selfish. If the Frau does not recover, Egypt will need a new leader. A strong leader. And I don't think that's Amneris. Rodimaze, come and claim your kingdom! You should go to her. Were you a noblewoman before you were captured? What does it matter? There's nothing noble about me now. But you're wrong. You are noble. And courageous. Very few of us speak so honestly in considering you're a slave. Oh, yes. We mustn't ever forget that I'm a slave. I cannot take back the past, Aida. But even if I could, I'm not sure I want to. Aida, I... Rodimaze! You barge into my bedchamber, waging a full frontal attack, so to speak, and now you're stalling. Why? I'm sorry, I didn't realize the thing... There's a buck-naked princess lounging in her bed, calling your name. What exactly didn't you realize? Before our wedding night, why don't you pack up some of that dried monkey meat, Captain, and have the royal cartographer draw you a picture of the female body? Maybe then you'll be more inclined to come explore.
Was it something I said? When we were children, we understood each other so well. Now, it's as if he's a mystery to me. Aida, there you are. Would you come with me? Where? The Nubian camp. Look, everyone knows I'm the one who can get things. And our people, they've asked me to bring them you. Why? So they can see a reckless fool dressed as a servant? That is what I am, Merib. My father told me not to leave the boundaries of our village, but I could not be so constrained. I took Nehebka and the other women up the river, and that is where the Egyptians captured us. I deserve this, and our people deserve a leader who thinks of them and not of her own selfish pleasures. Aida, the Nubians want their princess. It's knowing what they want of me. That scares me, it's knowing having followed I must lead It's knowing that each person there Compares me to those in my past Whom I now succeed But how can whatever I do for them now Be enough, be enough Instead of that ragged concoction of thread But may you be moved by its desperate beauty To give us new life For we'd rather be dead than live In the squalor and shame of the slave To the dance, to the dance
Nations are wild And I must be on my fulfillment But they won't hear a word of a doubt Or see signs of weakness My nigh on impossible duty It's clear And if I can rekindle Our ancestors' dreams It's enough It's enough It's enough You're watching me again. All week, your eyes have been on me. I don't know what you mean. Do you really think that you can claim your freedom just because you've gained my attention? You are beautiful, but I'm not easily led. <laughs> if I've looked in your direction, it was only to see if your chalice needed filling. But I have no chalice now. And yet you're looking. Excuse me, Captain, but I have linens to wash. I did not excuse you. You want something from me? I want to make your life easier, Aida. Tell me how. What can I do for you? Help my people. I want to help you. I am my people. And I cannot continue to live in the comfort of the palace while my countrymen are dying. You want my affection, Captain? I could have your affection right here if I commanded it. I just want to know if you feel anything for me, aside from content. I, I don't know. Then let's find out. Aida, I just saw! Aida Omneris requests your presence. The princess, your betrothed? I once knew all the answers I stood on certain ground A picture of true happiness A confidence so effortless No brighter could be found Oh no I never asked the questions that trouble me today I knew all there was to know Love on lightly put on show My conquest on display I can't believe he's changing And who'd have thought a confidence could die? Oh no Not me Not me Not me Not me That all I took for granted was a lie Oh no Not me Not me Not me Not me and dude have guessed I'd throw my world away To be with someone I'm afraid would say not 
me. This can never be. Not me. He's in love, and he's not the only one who'll be changed. This would be lovely on you. I'll say this for you Egyptians, your thread count is amazing. Why is Aronimates coming to see me again? We're to be married in three days, and yet, Aida, I must make things right with him. I shall not envy lovers, but long for what they share. An empty room is merciless. Don't be surprised if I confess I need some comfort there. And who the thought? That. The Egyptian captain, he's giving away everything he owns, and he's giving it all to us. And who would have guessed he'd throw his world away to be with someone till his dying day? Not me, not me. And who would have thought a love could be so good? Till a dying day, not me. This can never be. Not me. Look, Rodimus is preparing to move into the palace. So whatever doubts he had that I had the other night must be gone. But you say, Aida, apologize for me. Uh, no, I can't. You can. You always say the right thing. I never do, princess. Please, don't make me. I would never make you. But I'm asking you, as a friend. Thank you. It was nothing. Actually, it was everything. But it doesn't matter now. Captain. The princess wanted me to tell you that she is sorry for what she said the other night. Aida. You are betrothed to my mistress. It was arranged by my father and it will be unarranged by me. You could raid another country tomorrow and regain your fortune. Rodimus, you're an Egyptian. Nothing could ever change that fact. I don't even know why you bothered to do this. Don't you? Such elaborate lives, wild ambitions in our sights. How an affair of the heart survives days apart. nights seems quite unbelievable to me I don't want to live like that seems quite unbelievable to me I don't want to love like that I just want our time to be slower and gentler, wiser, free. We all live 
in extravagant times playing games we can't all win unintended emotional crimes take some out take others in I'm so tired of all we're going through I don't want to live like that I'm so tired of all we're going through I don't want to love like that I just want to be with you Now and forever Peaceful truth This may not be the moment To tell you face to face But I could wait forever for the perfect time and place We all need such elaborate lives We don't know whose words are true Strangers, lovers, husbands, wives Hard to know who's loving who Too many choices tear us apart I don't want to live like that choices tear us apart I don't want to love like that I just want to keep your heart May this confession be the blanket or two. No, I could not. Man enters world naked, without possessions. I want to be a new man for you, Aida. Cleansed of my past sins. What is it? My armies have returned. The pharaoh will be expecting me at the victory celebration. Go back to the palace. You'll be safe there. Oh. Take my amulet. If anybody bothers you, Show them this and they'll let you pass. I love you. I heard that. Say it again, I command you. <laughs> Captain! I heard the drums. But we've captured the Nubian king! You've taken him alive? Yes, Captain! Find the men responsible for this. I'll see they're paid the highest honors. Tell the others I'm on my way. Yes, Captain! Aida, our countries are at war. This Nothing I can do to change that. But he's my father. He's my king. Princess, say it isn't true. I saw our king dragged through the streets with my own eyes. I heard they already executed him. And they're carrying his head throughout the city on the end of a stake. No, no. I'm a Nazro of Nubia is alive. I saw him taken to the prison. But it's only a matter of time before the Egyptians slaughter him. I always imagined your father would march upon Egypt in triumph. 
but now we have no hope. When the king dies, so does Nubia. No! Nubia will never die. Whether we are enslaved, or whether we are far from our native soil, Nubia lives in our hearts. And therefore, it lives. Take me in, my dreams recurring, cheerful as a childhood dance, into one more taste of freedom. One more longing backward glance in the sway somber music I shall never never understand let me slip into the sweeter The golden, the radiant, the fertile, the gentle, and the blessed. The pain of Nubia is only of the moment. The desolate, the suffering, the plunder, the oppressed. The gods love Nubia, their glorious creation. The songs roll sweetly across the harvest plain. The tears of Nubia, a passing aberration. They wash into the river and are never cried again. The gods love Nubia. We have to keep believing. Though scattered and divided, we
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just a reminder that if you did turn on your cell phones during intermission, please take this time to turn them off completely so that they do not interfere with our sound system. After the show, you are encouraged to greet the cast and crew in the lobby. Enjoy the rest of the performance. Dejected, all in all, I'm all at sea. Easy terms I thought I wanted fill me now with chilling dread. You could never know the chaos of a life turned on its head, of a life turned on its head. Oh.
ward with the prisoner. All right, Marib, but be quick about it. Father. Aida. Oh, I knew that you would survive, that I trained my daughter well. At least I would not allow myself to believe anything else. Have they mistreated you? No, but I believe they're saving that part for my execution three days from now. It won't come to that. We'll get you out of here. In two days, the daughter of the Pharaoh is set to wed. Most of the guards will be needed to control the crowds. And who is this young minister of war? Uh, this is Merib. You remember, Henu's boy. Ah, Henu. Your father was a great warrior. He had, he had hopes that you would grow up to be a scholar. Sire, the chief jailer will be attending Omneris's wedding. They've assigned a lowly guard to take his place, a man I know. Are you saying you may be able to bribe this guard? Let's just say we've done business in the past. That would take a lot of gold. Oh, I have it. For years I've been stealing from the palace. <laughs> I thought that maybe someday I could use it to return to Nubia. But if I could send my king home... We will all be going home soon, Marib. Now, how are the docks guarded? By the captain's soldiers. Uh, so the odds are slim. Can you use a sword, boy? Me? No, no, no. Actually, I'm much better at providing encouragement from the sidelines. A fight won't be necessary. They'll let us through. Captain Rodemes gave you that. Who is this captain? An Egyptian? Yes, but he's not like the others, Father. He leads Pharaoh's army, yet he does not lay waste to our country like the others? He regrets his past. Aida! Do not shame yourself and me with such witless sentiment. Do not tell me that this Egyptian grieves for the Nubian men executed, the women ravaged, and the children taken into slavery. Any soft look you have given this captain, any soft word, betrays the innocents who have suffered at his hands and at the hands of every soldier he commands. You will cut this man from your heart. Yes, Father. And I would not have thought it possible that these Egyptians could give me another reason to hate them. This is the moment when the gods expect me to beg for help. But I won't even try I want nothing in the world but myself To protect me And I won't lie down Roll over and die All I have to do is forget how much I love him All I have to do is put my longing to one side Tell myself that love's an ever-changing situation Passion would have cooled and all the magic would have died It's easy Easy. All I have to do is pretend I never knew him On those very rare occasions when he steals into my heart Better to have lost him when the ties were barely binding Better the contempt of the familiar cannot start It's easy It's easy Until I think about him As he was when I last touched him And how he would have been Were I to be with him today Up, they keep on coming All I've ever wanted And I'm throwing it away It's easy It's easy as a lie
the faces of a worn, defeated people, a father and a nation who won't let a coward run. Is this how the gods reward the faithful through the ages, forcing us to prove that all the hardest things we've done are easy, so easy. And though I'll think about him till the earth draws in around me, and though I choose to leave him for another kind of love, this is no denial. No betrayal but redemption Redeemed in my own eyes And in the pantheon above It's easy It's easy as a lie It's easy as a lie have control of the waterways, then the rest of the world opens up to us. Yes, but our Egyptian army just stormed in there and seized power. How oppressive of us. Perhaps, princess, but where do you think that beautiful necklace came from? Suddenly it's not so beautiful anymore. You summoned me, father? Oh, princess. I've been explaining our foreign campaigns to Amneris. Really? She's been wondering what's been preoccupying you of late. Rodimus, I feel like we haven't had a moment alone together since you've returned from Nubia. I miss you. Can't we spend this afternoon? Of course, of course we can. But I'd like to have a word alone with my father. Here. Read this while you wait. The campaign at Kadesh. It'll give us something to talk about. I didn't realize we were at a loss of topics. But then again, there's a lot I haven't realized. That was clever of you. You can't have me neglecting the girl. Not after all I've been through. You arranged a marriage. There have been other arrangements as well. Things I've done on your behalf. I haven't asked you to do anything for me. Oh, yes, because you've been too busy whiling away the hours with that slave girl. Your spies are good. Rodimus, you can have your little diversions. Just wait till after you've wed. Like you did? Your mother never had any complaints. She never had a choice. Don't you realize that this girl could cost you the throne? But I don't care about the throne, Father. Because I'm not like you. And I never will be. Don't come on so cocksure, boy. You can't escape your genes. No point in feeling pure, boy. Your background intervenes. Now listen good and listen straight. You're not the master of your fate. To this you must be reconciled. You'll always be your father's child. At times acclaimed, at times real vowed. You'll wind up doing just as I had done. Like father. Like sun Don't assume your vices Get handed down the line 
That a parent's blood suffices To condemn the child's design I'm the wrong I can't deny But at least I know that I Shouldn't blame that on my stock Well this might come as quite a shock But I'm no chip off any block I wouldn't wish those words on anyone Like father like sun. Son, you're nervous. Take my hand. All is settled, all is planned. You've got the world at your command. I don't think you understand. Are you really gonna throw away your future? Offer some wretched slave? She has a name. In a few months, you won't even be able to remember her name. I appreciate too well. The squalor at which you excel It isn't very hard to tell Evil's a distinctive smell You can forget about your plans, Father Cause there will be no wedding He's lost all sense of reason And why some foreign not only is that treason, some doors are slamming shut. Like me, he's found that flesh can't excite, but will it mesh? Be rid him of this blight. Once the heart it's out of sight, then I think he'll see the light. He won't walk back to daddy, he will run. Father. Like son Like father Like son Like father Like son Like father Like son Find the slave girl called Aida, and when you do, kill her. I'm sorry for everything I've said And for everything I forgot to say too When things get so complicated I stumble at best, muddle through I wish that our lives could be simple I don't want the world on you oh, I wish I could tell you this face to face But it's never the time Never the place So this letter will have to do I'm in love with you Tomorrow, Princess, you and your father will be free We will live to tell our grandchildren of the king's great escape Nubia will prevail Quiet. We 
are here for Aida. Which one of you is her? I'm Aida. Forgive us, Princess, but you cannot sacrifice yourself. Every person here would risk their lives for Nubia. Where are you going? You're going to see him again, aren't you? Merub, I do not ask you to understand. I do not understand. But I must see him. No! Yes, I do. I have to see him. No. No! You cannot just give yourself to him. The Egyptians have taken enough from us already. You, you are our princess. Our inspiration, our promise of a new day. Sorry, Merib. There is a time, there is a place When love should conquer all The rest of life is pushed aside As truth and reason fall but only if that selfishness can lead to something good I thought I knew you, princess But I never understood I don't know you I don't know you They came for me, but they took another. I blame myself. No, I'm the one who put you in danger, but I swear it'll never happen again. I'm calling off the wedding. I'm going to build a house for us at the border of our countries and we can sail the Nile. A lot of ace. No. You can't call off the wedding. Yes, I can and I will. Rodimus, I love you. But you must marry the princess tomorrow. Tomorrow. What you want for us is impossible. They would hunt us down. It is a foolish plan. We can find a way for us to be together. I am here to tell you We can never meet again Simple really, isn't it? A word or two and then A lifetime of not knowing where or how or why or when You think of me or speak of me And wonder what befell That someone you once loved So long ago so well Never wonder what I feel As living shuffles by you don't have to ask me, and I need not reply Every moment of my life, from now until I die I will think or dream of you, and fail to understand How a perfect love can be confounded out of hand Is it written in the stars? Are we paying for some crime? Is that all that we are good for? Just a stretch of mortal time? Or some God's experiment In which we have no say In which we're given paradise But only for a day Marry the princess, Rodimus. You 
can help my people. This could be our chance to do something important. Don't you see? And maybe the whole reason we met. And it would all be a cruel trick. Not if the gods put us together for a greater purpose. Nothing can be altered. There is nothing to decide. No escape, no change of heart, nor any place to hide. Oh, you are all I ever want. But this I am denied. Sometimes in my darkest thoughts, I wish I'd never learned what it is to be in love and have that love returned. Is it written in the stars? Are we paying for some crime? Is that all that we are good for? Just some stretch of mortal time? Or some God's experiment in which we have no say? In which we're given paradise, but only paradise. I will do what you ask of me, but you must also do something for me in return. Go home. Leave Egypt forever. What are you saying? While I'm taking my wedding vows, there will be a boat waiting for you. At least I will have some measure of happiness knowing that you're free. i 
as witnessed by the gods and all of Egypt, I now pronounce you man and wife. May your lives be filled forever with the joy of this moment. <laughs> yes. Your Majesty, the Nubian king has escaped. Rana, Mace, call your men to arms. Fan out across the city. <laughs> Search the docks. The fastest way to Nubia is by water. No, seal off the docks. But they're going to No escape. one must reach the pier before I arrive there. Princess, we must hurry. They've sounded the alarm. Rodimace. Aida, undo the rope. I'm sorry, Father, but I need one last moment with him. Daughter! Of course. You're the Nubian princess. And you had me marry him Neris just so you could escape. It was all a lie. Every word, every kiss. Oh! I've made too many mistakes, and too many people have suffered. I could not act selfishly now. So you lied to me? Not when I said I love you. Say you believe me. She's alive? Stop there! Aida, come! Aida, get in the boat. It's your last no, chance. Not without Arab. Step aside, boy. Ah! 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 Rodimace, what are- No! Aida! Rodimace, for the love of Egypt, what have you done? It's all over, Father. And when they come for me, they'll take you away, too. No, they can't. Egypt needs- You're the one who tied our fates together. Like father, like son. I think you should run. Rodimace, he's- Forgive me, princess. I failed you. No. You, Merib, inspired me. I want to go back to Nubia. Aida, take me home. I never meant to hurt you. Rodimates, there still is a chance. My father might spare your life. Listen to me. They want to bury you alive. Yes. It's what we do to traitors. You must say that everyone is wrong. No, that... I can't. Aida is everything I thought that I was meant to be. But her courage and her love for her people put me to shame. Every act of my life has been wrong. Except for this. Did you ever love me at all? Neris, I've loved you all my life. Take your hands off of her! After all, she's a princess. And Neris, there were so many times I wanted to tell you everything. But I couldn't. No wonder you understood me so well. And Neris, listen to me. I am to blame for what has happened, not Rodimace. Please let him live. Amneris, let him live. I can't. Yes, you can. You love him. Don't you love him? Amneris, let us begin. Bring forth the prisoners. Zozer has been apprehended and... We have uncovered his plot. Ranames, I chose you. I trusted your father. Now I will make things right while I still can. The prisoners shall receive Father, the I have a request. 
A request. The prisoners must die for their crimes against Egypt. This is the law. But I would ask that the, that the traitors be allowed to die together. <laughs> but that would be mercy. After they disgraced you in front of the entire nation, I... I was wronged. It should be my decision. <laughs> you don't know your own mind. For their crimes, the prison... Your Majesty! You have poison in your blood. We both know this. Soon I will be completely alone because everyone I love around me will be gone. So you must allow me to exercise my will over Egypt because I am to be a successor and because I demand it. For their crimes, the prisoners will be buried beneath the sands of Egypt in one tomb, together. The daughter of Isis has spoken. Such elaborate lives Wild ambitions In our sights How an affair Of the heart survives Days apart Unbelievable to me I don't want to live like that Seems quite unbelievable to me I don't want to love like that I just want a time to be Slower and gentler
tired of all we're going through I don't want to live like that I'm so tired of all we're going through I don't want to love like that I just want to be with you Now and forever right here with you. There's another world waiting for us. I can feel it. Just like how I knew there was another world beyond every bend in the Nile. And you will find me in that world? If I have to search a thousand lifetimes, I will find you again, Aida. There'd be no ties of time and space to bind us. No horizon we could not we leave this world's misfortunes far behind us And I would put my faith and trust in you
Thank you.